Welcome back to the next episode of Ghost of Tsushima. Today, Jin is going to go learn the sword technique of the Heavenly Strike. It's another mythic legend uh, that he heard about from some bystander on the road. And he is going today to learn that. Uh, his first step is stopping to speak to a musician in Komatsu who has the tale, who tells the tale of the Heavenly Strike. So we're on our way to see that guy. It's the seek a deer screaming in the background. Chills me to the bone. Are you cowards? Susano, protect me. Dead bodies. Who killed these people? A fearsome warrior. He demanded I tell him the tale of Shigenori's heavenly strike. When he didn't hear the answers he sought, he flew into a rage and butchered them. What did he want to know? I am not sure, my lord. Tell me the story. I need to know what he's after. When Tsushima was first settled, a strange and terrible thunderstorm swept across our island. Wherever lightning struck, beasts of lightning appeared. These violent creatures tore through villages, causing death and destruction, moving too quickly to be stopped. The people knew only one man who could possibly stand against the lightning beasts. Shigenori, the fastest swordsman in all of Tsushima. Shigenori never lost a duel. With years of practice, he had created the Heavenly Strike, an attack that struck quicker than the eye could follow. Shigenori lured the creatures to a desolate beach in Komatsu where the sand would slow their movement. Their clash turned the sand to ash and bleached the leaves of trees white. Shigenori's heavenly strike cut through them faster than they could move. As the final beast fell, the storm cleared 
and Tsushima was safe again. Shigenori began a life of seclusion. Few students found him, and only the bravest and most skilled proved worthy of learning the heavenly strike. When a storm approaches, a sword is placed at Shigenori's rest by a student who knows of its location to ward off attacks from beasts of nature. The murderer wishes to learn Shigenori's heavenly strike. It sounds dangerous in the wrong hands. Which way did he go? A woman fled toward a nearby bridge. He chased her. He'll answer for what he did here. That's the bridge the musician mentioned. Someone weeping. Where? My lord, so many is slaughtered. Did you see the man who killed them? I know who he is. Yasuhira Koga. I've heard the name. He fought for the Yarikoa clan. Would you recognize him? I'll never forget that leering face. Follow me. Perhaps I can pick up his trail on the other side of the bridge. Tracks. Yasuhira was in a hurry. What more do you know of Yasuhira Koga? Only that he was a retainer for the Yarikawa clan years ago. After the rebellion was crushed, the clan was dissolved and retainers dismissed. Rumor says he left Tsushima, but when the Mongols attacked, he returned. From where, I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. He cannot be allowed to live after what he's done. Up ahead, they're constructing a roadblock. Mongols, hide yourself.
I don't see Yasuhira Koga anywhere. We're pursuing a man named Yasuhira Koga. He just left. He's been staying in the watchtower. Working with the Mongols? Yes. But last night they argued. Only made out one word. Chigenori. I'll search the watchtower. Find somewhere safe before more Mongols come. What has Yasuhira been doing? White leaves, like those bleached by lightning in the tail. The Mongols have their own version of Shigenori's tail. Maybe he wanted to compare it to the musician's version. A dueling ring. He's looking for it. Yasuhira is looking for someone who can teach him Shigenori's heavenly strike. The white leaves. There are trees like that not far from here. That's where he went. You've helped enough. Get to safety with the others. Thank you, my lord. I hope you punish that monster. Need to find white-leafed trees. Careful, my lord. This path is dangerous. Dangerous for a samurai, but not a priestess. What are you doing here? My duty, tending the shrines. When the war ends, people will need these Torii gates to mark their path, so they can find the Shinto shrines and pray for the Kami's protection. We could use their protection now. Yes, but the paths are too treacherous. I tried to visit the nearby shrine, almost fell to my death. Maybe I can reach it. As a boy, I climbed every tree and cliff around my village. If you get there in one piece, pray for our island, and take an Omamori charm for yourself. Wear it close, and the charm will change your fate. And perhaps the fate of our home. Thank you. Follow the Torii gates. They will lead you to shrines all across our island, and the Omamori charms that rest there. Yasuhira must have gathered leaves from here.
Someone's being tortured. Stop! I told him everything I know! Distraction, be mitchin. I can't help it. Negio This is how we win. was a man named Yasuhiro with these Mongols. Mm. He wanted to learn the heavenly strike from my grandfather and took him away. Your grandfather's in danger. Where did they go? His old training ground. A dueling ring on the Komatsu coast. Please, <laughs> save him. Let's go, Nobu. Yasuhira cannot learn the heavenly strike.
I'll see here if that Mongol's with him. Must be Shigenori's dueling ring. What has Yasuhira been doing? Poor man, killed by Yasuhira. I've seen many tools. Footprints, still fresh. Yasuhira Kuga, the butcher of the rebellion. Time hasn't changed you. You were a child when Yarikawa burned, boy. For 15 years, I dreamed of cutting Lord Shimura to the bone. You won't live long enough to face him. The old man taught me the legendary attack before I killed him. Let me show you. Waiting for boy. Not waiting. Studying. Learning. Save you. Deserve greater respect than this. I 
I promise I'll use Shigenori's technique to protect Tsushima against all who would harm it. Okay, we do have time for one more side quest, so let's go do that real quick. And if I pop over to my map, it's down here, so I'm going to go to this fox den to make this a little faster. Okay, and here we are. And thanks to the magic of editing, Jin is now wearing a spiffy new clean armor, and he's off to visit with the healer. My lord, will you please help me? What is it? I have to get to a camp in the woods, occupied by people who are seriously ill. They need a healer. The area is overrun with bandits and Mongols. Yes, I'll need protection. I can get you there, but this sickness concerns me. You're sure you can fight it? Sickness isn't something you fight. It's something you have to care for. If the people are as ill as you say, we should leave now. Stop the sickness before it spreads. Thank you, my lord. How did you survive the battle at Komoda? It was thanks to a woman, Yuna. She rescued me from the beach, nursed me back to health. She sounds like a gifted healer. She's one of the bravest people I know. I wouldn't be here without her. My mother did the same for me. As a boy, I was always sick, but through her knowledge of herbs, she made me strong. She's the reason I'm a healer. Wait, I think I see something up ahead. Good eye. Stay back. Let me handle it. Where are you fighting? We don't hurt him. Higher! Please don't hurt us. There's an archer! I'm 
thought they were going to kill us. You shouldn't be traveling here alone. We had to leave our farmstead, my lord. Everyone there is sick. What brought it on? Spirits. Our ancestors are punishing us. We gave the Mongols our food instead of fighting back. When they left, everyone grew ill. Now our home is cursed. There's an inn just down the road. You should be safe there. It's much too dangerous outside. Get indoors and stay there. Thank you. I only hope the spirits don't follow us. You're quite the butcher with that sword. What would you have done with the bandits? In my experience, firm but polite words go a long way. You have experience with bandits, then? I just think one should try to resolve a problem peacefully before resorting to violence. Spoken like a healer. You chose the right occupation. What is it? What's wrong? It's my son. I think he ate something poisonous. Take me to him. What about those suffering at the camp? We've already delayed. It will only take a moment. Mm. I'll help. Perhaps we can make this quick. Thank you, my lord. I knew. We have no food. I'll see if I can find what it was. Thank you, my lord. Nothing but boiled water. Rice baskets empty. Mushrooms, half eaten. This must be it. I should tell Hanaoka. Hey. Did you find anything? Half eaten mushrooms. You fool! You know better. He must have eaten them out of desperation. I can make an antidote, but I need river moss. Stay with him. I'll find the moss. My lord, did you find the moss? 
Here it is. Homeo, listen carefully. Crush this moss, add it to a cup of water, and bring to a boil. Have him drink the mixture, and he should be fine by tomorrow morning. Those at the camp need us now. Yes, let's go. Thank you for saving my son. You know, that man's symptoms were the same as the couple from the farmstead. Aching, vomiting, labored breathing. Symptoms of poisoning? You think the farmstead was poisoned? I'm almost sure of it. In which case, I'll need tubers to treat them. The moss was fine for that man, but tubers are stronger. They grow at a nearby pond. Let's be quick. Let's go, Nobu! By the pond. Would you like to talk to them? Ask them politely to move? I'll leave this to your discretion, my lord. First! Zulkar Daksov Bakimu! Tinege! Dara!
Over here, my lord. You found the tubers? Yes. Thanks to you, I'm able to harvest them. It's just... watching you... I can't help but wonder if you enjoy the violence. I kill only to protect our people. I think about that every time I reach for my soul. Of course. I'm sorry, my lord. Let's go heal those who need it. The camp should be just ahead. Hila, my wife, she stopped breathing. How long has she been sick? Ever since the Mongols came by our farmstead. What did she eat? We had no food. Just water from the well. I'm sorry. She's gone. <laughs> if only I'd gotten here sooner. You did your best. But maybe if I hadn't delayed, with that couple and that man... If we hadn't stopped, those people would be dead. You also wouldn't have figured out these people were poisoned. Perhaps. But I still don't know how. That man said his wife had nothing but water from the well. And we know people started getting sick after the Mongols left. They must have polluted the well. A contaminated water source would spread sickness like wildfire. But it's treatable? Yes, the tubers will see to it. Then help those you can. Thank you, my lord. You have saved many lives. Okay, that is the end of today's episode, and I hope you liked it. I think the next episode we'll do a few side missions just for fun, and I'll teach you a little bit about strategy in the game. See you tomorrow.